Hello everyone, this is Anita White with Love Your Art and we're back today with another video. So happy to have you joining us. Today, we're gonna to continue with our abstract designs with a tilt and we have a 16 inch round which has been taped on the back and we have a 18 inch cuff that we're using to position our round on and we're gonna use it to assist us with getting this design started. We have some Mars Black by Blood Acrylic that we'll be using to begin our, our design. And let's talk about what we have by way of our colors. Well, we're gonna use some raw sienna. That would be from our Liquitex Basics family. And on top of that, we have some Golden Burnt Ombre. And we're going to use let's put a little bit of pearlized white in there. And then we'll do some graphite iridescent Liquitex Basics. With that, we also have some light gold by Amsterdam. And we have some golden iridescent fine copper. A little bit of that and we're going to use some pearl space gray by Arteza so this is going to have a little bit of a different complexion um, we also I think I made though a little bit of metallic silver in there by Otter Swap okay and we will start again, just with a tad bit of each. That's the raw sienna. Our number. Let's see, did we use the graphite, then the white? After pro space and silver. Okay, and then what we're doing here is going to share you with you what that looks like. All of our wonderful colors, we're doing abstract designs, but I want to try, start with the spill flow of black. Let that get down. Let's see if we can go ahead. get it around and go around a little bit. Get it to go over. Cover that side. So we can come on this side a little more. Let's get to cover this side a little bit more too. Moving that around. And over. Let's see if we can get it down. Okay. And around. I'm not going to cover it all up, just going to get it around a little bit there. Tilt it. We're taking our colors, we're going to do four here throughout. Ooh, we want to capture that there. Hold on to it. Some color there going on. We can move it a lot. Give it an opportunity to move around. Move it back around. Go toward those edges. 
and we're going for an abstract effect. So let's do, go ahead and pour some one in here and swing forward a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take a little black and do the same in the middle. Definitely got an abstract effect going on here now. I'm going to try using my catalyst um, tool here just to help bring in some design. color. See what that does to help spread things out, bring them in, and bring it down, bring it around, all around the outside. That lacing is really pretty. Bring this over, bring it that down there, over. Beautiful lacing there. So we can get these coming in and across, down and over. Awesome. Ah, I'm liking it a lot. Okay, we need to move some of this back in and cover up. And hold on to those pins, make sure we get our edges all the way around covered. All right, back in, pull that off. Still have more paint to work with, so we're good. We'll move that back in, get that negative space going, making it look so lovely. that back in, pushing it down a bit. Yeah, it's got beautiful lacing. Bring it back to the center. Bring some of that paint off because we've got quite a bit there. Bring it off there and we'll turn it back so it comes down a little bit more here. Pulling that off. Pulling it off some more. Yeah. All right. All right. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Well, I think we got more paint to work with, so we're going to still play. I'm going to make some designs here. We'll go ahead and use this up. So we got a color that's in the bottom, that uh, raw sienna, that we are now getting the chance to see. There it is. And I think it can do some special things for us. Um, should have taken and done a torch of that. I'll do it now. We're also going to use a little more black, so I'm going to be sure to put more black in my cup. edge here. All right, and then we'll come in and run that over and around and over and around. Ah, there you go. Awesome. Okay, where's our pen? Trying to grab hold of that. 
that side over. Wow, that's unique. That has personality. That has a lot of the colors that we've been working with showing up. And we're able to do that now. Bring that back to the middle. So that black just made their space there. And then that there. Okay, and then back to the middle. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay. I'll pull some of that off this way. Work me. I love doing these abstract designs because you have so much of an option to play with colors and variation. Now I'm going to take some of this here and bring black in there and I also want to put some more um, let's see I think I want a little bit more of the gold in here And I also, so I see the silver, I see the white. I'm thinking I may try for more of this graphite. It's gold. And some silver. Or do I want, yeah. Well, maybe we'll go with brown. We'll go with the brown. And I'm just going to pour these guys right on top and we'll just jiggle a little bit. There you go. There you go. Then we'll straighten it up. Straighten it up. Just let it flow. Okay. Wow. I love all the different special effects we can get with playing with paint and you can just decide what you want. Add more or stop when you're ready. In this case, we added more. I wanted a little bit more gold. We've got some um, copper. We've got some of the raw sienna in there. Just want to make sure we can get it all over. Unique colors. Unique design. Okay, let's do it. We'll move this over a little bit here, coming along this edge, around this edge, over, over, and back. I want to keep some of that. Keep some of this gold here. But I also want to move in take some of this away just a little bit oh wow that's neat I love having these varied striations like that black coming right through there Let's see if we go straight up pull some of that out go straight off of there. Let's see what we'll do if we can go straight off of there. Uh, just playing around, trying to give us the opportunity to get something we like. And that's pretty. That's very pretty. Yes, indeed. It's giving us layers giving us a lot of color, bringing that black to the center again. Let's see if I can move this. A little bit over. 
see that? It's very pretty. Now we have some cells in there that I'm not really sure I want to keep. I would like to see the nice flow without cells since the majority of these actually have no cells. So I'm just see if I can put any paint here to allow for um, the colors to continue, but not so much with just the bit here. Maybe some layering. Okay, that's going to do it. All right. Let's see what we can do with this edge. The black coming through, moving it. So I'll bring that off. Bring that on over. Hopefully we can get more of a center for it. It's unique. Definitely unique. Okay, I want that to stay. I want my base, uh, my bottom part to stay. I want to make adjustments here. So I'm going to take and move as much as I can off. Bring that back up. Down and off. So I can straighten that off. Follow that. Come on. Almost there. Okay. All right. Bring it back. back a little more. Okay, that's nice. That is nice. Let's see how it looks over here. I'm still wanting to play with this. This has got a lot of potential and so I'm going to add more paint. Let's see what it does. Just want to play. Just want to have a nice design that I can really be proud of and really feel that I'm uh, content with. Showing all the colors and giving it a lot of opportunity for um, I guess variation of movement, variation of, of color arrangement and all that wonderful stuff. And we'll just do this one more time. See where this takes us. Remember I started this by having the cup tilted and we're going to go back to that. I could leave it like that. It's really pretty. I just want to play a little more, see what we can come up with. And enjoy it. I don't want these cells here, so what my thought is is to try to move this here. This is really nice the way it is. It's not a problem. Just want to make efforts to do it's on a pan, so we want to move that off this off the pan. I want to make efforts to do something to work with it, that's all. I'm just going to pour this in. 
kind of take its direction. Let's see where it goes, right on off. Moving it. Some of it moving right on off. There's something there, so we need to move that right on off. Let's see what that is. Okay. liking it better before but we'll do this A lot of negative space. Taking that completely off. And we're working with what we have here now. All right. All right. Oops. I want to lay this down now. Okay, whoops, there we go. Now move this one around. Get it going and move it back around, get that part going. Slide it on off. See if we can get that right on off now. That's interesting. I like the striations. I like the idea of having lines, straight lines, curved lines, um, a lot of definition, a lot of uh, three-dimensional effect sometimes as well. Um, just you, just a variation, I would say, variation in this. Now, this is really coming out pretty right now because I'm taking the black and I'm making it work inside to create striations on the outside as well as a design here. And that is really, really pretty. Okay, well, I'm going to stop there and pull that back. is very unique. Cover up some of the black in the middle. Bring it in. Bring it down. that. So I'm going to move what I don't want on off. There you go. There you go. I can bring this in. Bring it on down the side. Keeping those striations as best I can. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. OK, 
Okay, I kind of like that. I like the out, the outside striations. I love this part here. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. If I want to put any more into this, I can definitely, I love, love, love this side. Um, yeah. Just a little more on this side. I'm not going to put all the colors in, but a few of the colors. To help bring out this side, my right side. Oh, what the heck, we might as well put all the colors in there. Just a little more, two more and that's it. And we are having a great time. Great when you're having fun. Right. And I'm gonna add a little black to that. So it comes out. Alright, we wanna we keep this side, we want to work this side. can come right on through the middle. Look at that. Look at the design that has created. Go over to the edge here. Come in. Move it around. Move it down. It's coming in. Oh, pretty. Very pretty. Oh yeah. Look at that. I'll bring it back. Actually we can come in a little more. Bring that in and let some of that take up the black. There we go. Alright. I want to make some of this um, black show up here. So we'll tilt it on that way and we'll bring it this way as well. off. Come on, go further up. All right. So we come down this way more. Taking some of that black off. So we have a little negative space there. want that to be a little straighter. Uh, let's do it. A little straighter. straighter, much straighter. Okay, so it looks much more in sync with um, negative space on the side here and there. And we have a little bit of design in there. I'm going to be careful not to get these gloves to flow out on my 
um, design. I forgot all my designs. We're moving those. We'll check around just to ensure that we have coverage everywhere. This is really very pretty. There's the raw sienna, the brown from the burnt umber. You can see the silver as well as the uh, iridescent graphite. You can see the gold, the pearlized white. We can see the copper, of course. There's copper here. And the pearl space gray. There's lines of it throughout the pearl space gray and that silver uh, argent. I'm going to take this down, just look around again, make sure that the movement of the paint has slowed significantly so that we're not dealing with, we're not dealing with um, any excess paint here that could possibly cause for uh, keep getting some of that bronze coming through. Actually it's okay because we got a little bit of bronze coming through on this side too in our negative space. But we want to make sure there's paint that is coming off the canvas and not creating an opportunity for it to have a difficult time drying and also having a problem with cracking. So that's what we're working on. This is so much fun to do. I don't know, it takes time. It takes trial and error to get what you want, but we can get there. And that's what we're working at, trying to get there the way we want it. Let's put a little more black paint there. There you go. And we'll tilt a little bit on that just to tilt that off. Hopefully without creating an issue for her. There it has a little bit of the bronze in it, which is fine because the bronze is here as well inside the black. Please with that. Okay. All right. It took a little bit of work there, guys. Thank you for your patience. We are happy to be able to play with you and enjoy what we're doing. All right. Close up time. Here, here we, here we are everyone. This is our close-up of this 16 inch round in which we have used a variety of beautiful colors to bring about this awesome abstract design. As you can see, there's a beautiful pearlized white along with the metallic uh, silver, our Amsterdam light gold, the raw sienna, along with the burnt umber, the shimmer and shine throughout this black base color, which is the uh, Mars Black by Blood Acrylic. See the swerves and the striations with the shimmer and shine throughout. So very, very beautiful. It just outlines the Colors are giving an iridescent effect there. You can see super shiny, super glistening, lovely striations, lovely, lovely color combination, bringing out all of these gorgeous colors and cells in just a unique way. I'm loving the flow. I love the movement, the change in direction. You can see there, how we work to ensure that we had lots of variation in this design and giving it negative space as well as an openness to feel uh, inviting. So there we have it, our 16 inch round. Let me know what you think in the comments. So appreciate the feedback. 
Also, if you like what we are seeing here, go ahead and like and subscribe to us. We'd love to give you an opportunity to hit that notification bell and be informed each and every time we have other videos. Thank you so much for joining me as always. Appreciate your support and thank you for being a part of Anita White Art on Facebook as well. Until next time, keep loving your art and we'll see you on the very next video. Bye now.